Hello and very good evening to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to SSB Short Short Academy and also to, to this weekly current affairs session. This yes, session is very important for you, especially for the students who are defense experiment hai. and they, uh, they want to join defense through any interest. Why it is important? Because, see, first of all, it will help you in your lecturate, in your GD to get some more points and also in your interview. When interviewing officer asks you some current affairs and being a responsible citizen of India, you must be aware around the happenings around the globe. And apart from these all, it will also help you in your psych test. While writing stories, you will get some more themes to write on if you have the current data. So with this, we are going to start. And for others as well, this will help you in your written examination. So it's very important within this within uh, around approx 15 minutes of this session in a week can give you more points to write and speak so ladies and gentlemen my topic will be subdivided into this uh, these subtopics the international issues national affairs regional state affairs sports defense and miscellaneous which include important dates person places and in news etc so first of all we'll discuss here the china's construction on pangong lake in the last two months, it has been observed that China is constructing a bridge connecting the north and south banks of the Pangong Lake. Construction of the bridge is taking place on the Chinese side. However, it is 25 to 30 kilometers away from India's claim of line of actual control. The bridge still connects the north and south banks of the Pangong Lake, allowing the Chinese army quick access to both sides. It is India's concern and in previous months, in a few months back in current affairs session, I have discussed regarding the new border law of China. So here again, I will uh, bring you, I will tell you what this new border law was. On Jan 2021, China implements its new border law. The new law calls to strengthen its border defense infrastructure near the borders and developments of villages. So near the borders, China has decided to uh, work on infrastructure growth and development of villages. It also lays down conditions under which emergency measures can be imposed across the border areas. Now it is India's concern and it must be. Uh, so let us discuss some possibility that why India, uh, why China is uh, increasing deployment and construction at LSE. So there are some possible reasons. India's decision to strengthen its border infra infrastructure so as India has decided to strengthen its border infrastructure, it was announced by Rajnath Singh Defense Minister. So that can be the one of the region, example, construction of Darbuk Shailok Dollar Bake Oldie Road by India. India is India's still towards United States, like the member of Quad. China considered India's assertion on Gilgit Baltistan as an attack on the China-Pakistan economic corridor project of China. CPEC, it is a project of China. China's growing assertiveness in South China Sea can also be one of the possibility. Next comes uh, the recently we have seen in the news, Sri Lanka is in financial crisis. Why Sri Lanka is in financial crisis? Inflation has been increased due to prime, uh, printing of money by government to pay off foreign bonds and domestic loans. Highly rural districts like Kandy and Ratanpura also account for a large share of new poor uh, uh, after COVID-19 pandemic. Vulnerability among the workforce was very high on weak safety and high informality names. World Bank has suggested Sri Lanka to work on few areas to strengthen its economy. So World Bank has, World Bank has suggested to focus on four priorities for Sri Lanka to transform its economy, achieve a sustainable trajectory and create more jobs in order to reduce poverty and recover from the impact of COVID-19. These priorities are like increase agriculture productivity and earnings by transitioning farmers towards higher value export oriented crop mixes. Address the constraints of accessing remunerative non-farm jobs in rural areas. This is because they are important and potentially productive source of livelihoods. It has also suggested to support broader reforms for increasing labor productivity and create jobs in order to improve the quality of jobs. 
promote spatial transformation and strengthen inclusion. Next, we'll come to a major steps which has been taken by India to strengthen humanity, India's aid to Afghanistan. On Jan 2022, India has donated 500,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccines to Afghanistan and will further send another 500,000 doses in coming days as a part of humanitarian aid to Afghanistan. It is a good sign. Next, uh, the B9, which is the Bucharest 9 group, the European countries, was in news. The Bucharest 9 group comprises of Poland, Romania, Slovakia, Lithuania, Latvia, Hungary, Czech Republic, Bulgaria, and Estonia. The organization was formed in 2015. It was formed under the initiative of Romania and Poland. It is also called Bucharest Format or B9. The group was formed at the Romania capital Bucharest and hence the name came. The artificial sun of China was also in news because more than 10,000 Chinese and foreign scientific researchers took part in this $948 million project called Exper Ex Experiential Advanced Superconducting Tokamak East. This is known as East. This East is a fusion reactor that ran successfully for around 20 minutes at 70 million degrees Celsius in the recent test. This heat is, it was five times hotter than that of sun. So that is why it is known as artificial sun of China. Next we'll see here, before we go to the national news, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to show you a way that SSB Shoreshot Academy has solution for you to get into armed forces because we run all the classes which are required to get into various defense academies to be officers. We have 14 day offline course, SSB course, which is being conducted by various retired officers who were the part of assessment uh, in various centers. We also have 14 day online SSB course by General Bhakmi sir and others. Officers, personality development online class we have by General Bhakmi sir again. CDS and NDSCF and uh, CAPF, all other written course in online and offline we run. A special co online courses for math, GS and reasoning separately we have for more queries regarding these courses, you can contact these two numbers. And to get periodic discount on any course, download our application from Play Store. Next, let's come to the national affairs. So at first, recent updates on census 2021. It was supposed to be cleared by 2021, but let's see, mostly it is like to be likely to be cleared in this year. Earlier in December 2021, freezing of boundaries of districts, sub-districts, talukas, tehsils, police stations, etc. has been postponed till June 2022. It is required, why it is required, that the freezing of boundaries limits of administrative units is a prerequisite to conduct the census. It is done at least three months prior. As per provisional data compiled by the Registrar General of India, till June 2021, number of districts has increased from 640 in 2011 to 736. It is a good sign. Census in India is the largest single source of several statistical information on different characteristics of citizens in India. First, synchronous census was conducted in 1881. Regional and state affairs, we'll see here the Mumbai Water Taxi Service the much awaited water taxi service is likely to start in Mumbai. From this month, this service is likely to provide connectivity between domestic cruise terminal at Ferry, Wharf, and terminals at Belapur and Nerul. Fares from DTC to Navi Mumbai will be around Rs. 1200 to 1500 rupees per passenger, while fares from DTC to JNPT will be around 750 rupees. The fares are high at present. Rates will be decreased once operators get a large contaminant. The Delhi government has taken a good initiative regarding the caste certificate based on single mother. It has been approved by the Legislative Assembly. So this is for the first time a child of a single mother belonging to the scheduled caste community receive a caste certificate in Delhi. Earlier, SCST caste certificates were issued only on the basis of fathers 
car certificate or paternal side certificates. Because of this pro procedure, many single mothers were unable to get SCST car certificates for their children. Circular to amend the procedure for issuance of SCST car certificate based on the car certificate of single mother was issued in July 2022, 2020 after getting approval from the Revenue Minister of GNCT city then. Next in sports, we'll see here that a 14 year old Bharat Subramanyam become the 73rd chess grandmaster. He scored 6.5 points from nine rounds along with four others and finishes seventh in the event. While there is the third wave of COVID-19 Omicron, we are seeing here the two other waves like new COVID-19 variant is IHU. New virus was identified when the world is still grappling with highly mutated strain of coronavirus that is Omicron. Omicron has already been leading to surge in COVID-19 case, cases worldwide. Again, apart from this Omicron, we have the Delta variant of Omicron, which is known as Delta Crohn. According to New Lord Isho Kostriksis, a professor of biological science at the University of Cyprus, a strain of COVID-19 combining Delta and Omicron was found in Cyprus. The discovery has been named Delta Crohn because of identification of Omicron-like genetic signatures within Delta genomes. The World Braille, uh, Braille Day 2021 was celebrated on 4th Jan. In 2018, the United Nations passed a resolution to celebrate Jan 4 as the World Braille Day. Following this, the first World Braille Day was observed in 2019. Jan 4 is the birth anniversary of Louis Braille. Louis invented the Braille language in 1899. January 4 was chosen to honor Louis Braille. Next, we see here the Monoceromia flavus cutata. It is a new species recently discovered in India. Along with this, researchers also found Monoceromia nigra. These newly discovered species were classified as a new type square feet flies. With this, we come to the end of today's session. Before we go back, I would like to remind you the courses which SSB Shortside Academy runs. We have 14 day offline SSB course. For that, you will have to visit to our academy in Bangalore and Chandigarh. We also have 14 day online SSB course, which is conducted by various experts and General Bhakuni sir. We have serious NDS CAPF and all other defense written exam online and offline both. We also run some special courses like for math, GS reasoning separately. If you want to get any of the courses and to get more detail regarding this, contact these two numbers. And to get periodic discount on any course, download our application from Play Store. With this, we come to the end of today's session. At last, I will suggest you be safe, take care from the third wave of COVID-19 Omicron. Thank you.